Hello, this is Anthony back at the Gazelle Gadget Lab. Today we have the new Nokia N86 8 megapixel phone. This is uh, the replacement for the, for the N85. We can see it still has the same uh, dual slider form factor with the media keys here and this very cool new keypad from Nokia. More of oval keys. It's pretty cool. And then we can see the phone is uh, it's pretty solid in size. It's got this nice chrome trim around it that makes it uh, pretty classy. And it does it does weigh 149 grams, so it has some good good size to it. It also features a scratch resistant screen. And then over here we can take a look at the two soft keys, the end call, uh, the green uh, call call button. This is the Nokia, the menu button to get into the menu, and then the cancel key. No Navi wheel that we saw in the N85 though. So some other, get into the main features, it's 104 by 51 by 16 millimeters. You can see the thick, it's pretty thin, it's pretty pocket friendly. You can see Nokia has also included uh, a new button on the side that's found in the 5800 and the N N97. It's a screen lock, which to me, you kind of don't need it because the, the slide also locks and unlocks, but it's still a cool feature. We have a standard uh, 3.5 jack micro USB. Uh, the phone does have uh, 8 gigabytes of onboard memory, and I also have an 8 gigabyte uh, card in here. You can put up to a 16. Uh, the screen is pretty impressive here. We see an AMOLED 2.6 inches, uh, 240 by 320. So it's, it's pretty bright, it's pretty clear. However, it's not that great in uh, bright sunlight, even though it's an AMOLED. It's, uh, it's not the greatest quality in, in bright sun. Uh, this one features, uh, this is the, the European edition, so we have HSDPA 900, 900 The US version will have 850 for AT&T band. Quad band, uh, accelerometer, and then we have uh, obviously Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and it's running the Symbian, uh, Symbian OS S60 9.3. This is, this is feature pack too. We also saw on the E71X from ATT. And some other features are we have GPS, I have Garmin Mobile installed in that. You can take a look, it's pretty, it's pretty impressive with Garmin. And then uh, we also have uh, Ovi Maps. We have that. I got a 10-day trial on the Ovi Maps too, which is which is good, just not as good as uh, not as good as the Garmin. Well, this is the Garmin interface. I can show you. It's pretty cool. It won't, it won't pick up satellite here, but and then uh, we can see the the phone is pretty quick. It does have a an ARM 11 434 megahertz processor. With 128 megabytes of RAM, it's not it's not flying, but it is better than uh, the N85 and the N uh, N95. And uh, we'll we'll get into the biggest part of this phone, which is the camera. So we can just take a look at the back right here. This uh, this will activate the camera as well. We see it's a Carl Zeiss uh, Tessar 2.4 to 4.8 by 4.6 wide angle lens. We saw the shutter just open up right there. It's pretty cool. It's the first camera when you actually uh, activate the camera, the shutter's automatic. We see a dual LED flash. Nokia opted not to go with Xenon, which we found in the N82. And that's one of the points of the, of the camera, which I don't really like. So we can actually take a picture here. And, uh, there you go, autofocus. So it, it's definitely, definitely takes quality pictures. I think it's it's definitely the, the best, Nokia camera phone to date. If you're looking uh, if you're looking to upgrade from uh, an N95, N82, N85, N95, eight gigabyte, this is definitely your best bet. It'll probably be Nokia's last N series. That's not, not a touch screen since everything's moving over to touch screen. So it's definitely it's definitely a solid device. Some things I didn't like about it were obviously the Xenon flash and 
the video the video quality is not great it's only 30 frames per second which is not bad but for no for an 8 megapixel camera phone I would figure you would see some kind of a maybe HD video recorder or something uh, there's no DivX or XVID support either but uh, all in all I think it's a it's a really great upgrade for all you Nokia users I know I had the N, N95 8 gig for a year and N96 didn't do it for me, N85 didn't do it for me, but this this is definitely a, a worthy upgrade. So you can make sure you check it out right now. It's going for about $480, $500 uh, unlocked. It's Anthony from the Gazelle Gadget Lab. Thanks.